What's going on, everybody? I appreciate all of you hanging out, waiting on the stream to start. For those who catch a replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So, um, Randy's package didn't come in in time, unfortunately. It's been held up in D.C. since Thursday. Priority mail, two-day shipping, my ass. Get it together, USPS. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, so we had to push that stream. We're going to do... Uh, we do next Tuesday, next Tuesday, same time. So me, Dedrick and Randy, D can't swap next Tuesday. So we're going to do some eye fragrance split screen action because I have yet to look at Chrome Azure, 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 have you like to say it? New Chrome Flanker. I want to look at it. Plus the two Manceras that Amber full and Eternal Wood. I haven't looked at those yet either. That's why I, that's what I advertised in this live stream. Like, Shit, I haven't looked at them yet. Let's look at them together and discuss, shall we? And speaking of things to discuss. Zaharoff Signature Bloom. As you can see here, you will see the box in tomorrow's full review. But you can see the name of the fragrance and everything on the front. And you have technically some white flowers is what that's supposed to be with the green logo. And this is a tactile rubbery coating on this cap. It is different from all the other Zaharoff caps. It, like Again, rubberized. Like that's how I would describe it. It has this tactile coating. So love the presentation, white and green, even though it's not a green fragrance, the greens to represent spring. George did a great job with that. Some of you, I'm sure, didn't see my center of the day shorts video. Um, I'm going to dive in a bit deeper tomorrow. It smells just like the, the final lab sample that I had a while back. A little bit richer. Uh, it's gotten into the deeper dry down now. It's basically, as it settles into the dry down, a lot of myrrh, a little bit of uh, creamy woods. Not as heavy on the white floral. The opening's the most feminine portion of it. It becomes much more unisex, even bordering into the masculine as it gets into the dry down more. Um, but it all depends on how you feel white, about white florals, fellas. Very elegant for guys, uh, slightly masculine for ladies, but I mean just slightly. George told me all the ladies upstairs at the office have been wearing it. It just smells like bloom all over the place at the office. I can only imagine. Heidi's drenched in it. She loves it. I have six sprays on. I got one on each forearm, four around the neck. It is that good. It is not going to be for everyone. As I stated in my shorts video, as I'm going to talk about in the review tomorrow, as I'm saying now, this is not going to be for everyone. Everyone seeing this video, this is not for all of you. Some people, this is going to be just too feminine for. Four different jasmines, gardenia, and orange blossom. That's six white floral oils right there. But the counterbalance to it is the olibanum, heavy dose of frankincense, and the myrrh. It is a floral oriental is how I would classify this. I don't even know what George has it classed as. That's how I would classify it, a floral oriental, because it is based around balsamic resins. And the myrrh does give this slightly vanillic feel. Not a heavy smell of vanilla, but you can tell it's the myrrh that's giving this slight vanillic sweetness. So there's going to be people that are going to adore this, and there's going to be people that it's like, just I just can't do it. It's too floral. So just had to let you guys know. And even though I'm saying, like, this isn't for all of you, I'm still going to get called a shill because people are fucking stupid. So. There we go. There's my scent of the day. So with that said, we'll wait till around the 10-minute mark, and then we'll dive into the topic as we usually do. Let's get caught up in the chat. So we've got 80 people already. If you don't mind, hit that thumbs up for me. I do appreciate it. It does help. Muhammad, good to see you, sir. I know it's very, very late where you are. I plan on having a good stream, hopefully. Man, Q just blessed, acting like we're in fifth grade. Eternal Wood, LOL, couldn't help himself. I guess we, we never grow up when it comes to, to – Dick and fart joke humor, huh? So, sin of the day is summer vibes. Good to see you, my man. Mr. M.A. Styles, Mont Blanc Star Walker. Good choice. Jonathan, good to see you, my man. Alorum Sport O Extreme, timeless. Hit the rack stores. Got Polo Club Blaze and CR7. Which one, as far as the CR7s? I got three of them. Did you get Game On, Play It Cool, or what's the name of the other one? Drawing a blank. There's three different ones. Jay, we're in Tarathi Blue. Great choice. Antonio, good to see you. Love you all from Mutler. Never looked into that one before. Joseph Abad Mountain, have a great live. I appreciate that, Watson. Thanks for stopping in. Neil, good to see you, sir. Adonis Awakens, one of the best rose fragrances for men ever created. Today, it's my favorite Argos. I get what you mean right there, because every day it could be different. If you wear Triumph Abacus tomorrow, it might be your favorite. If you wear Donye the day after that, then that day, that's your favorite. Christian just puts out phenomenal fragrances, but maybe tomorrow at too many good. Yeah. So if I'd have just finished reading your comment, I would have, would not have even needed to say what I said. Shame on me for stopping midway through. Juan, good to see you. Lamari Porthole. 
That's a nice bright iodine. I believe it's passion fruit, citrus. It's got this iodine salty air kind of smell to it. Beautiful fragrance. That's good stuff. That is one of the fragrances I sent to Dedrick and Randy. So our decant swap next week, you're gonna we're gonna get their thoughts on that fragrance. It's funny enough that you're talking. That's one of the five that I sent to Dedrick and Randy. What's up, Drew? Hope you're feeling strong physically. No. And mentally, yes. So uh, my diet got, I was literally like, Ugh, before, I guess it's when I pressed go live, I just perked up for you guys because I get excited to do this because I was thinking I was going to be, I am low energy, but I was thinking there was going to be no pep in my step to talk to you guys. My uh, nutrition plan got a lot more aggressive yesterday. I'm super low energy. I'm already beat up. I was already pretty low energy. This is barely carrying my ass right now. Um, some fats got cut back. <laughs> you know, I'm already relatively low carb, no high day till Saturday. That'll be almost two weeks without a high carb day. A little over two weeks, actually, without a high carb day, three check-ins because we check in every five days. We just moved four days. So Monday and then Friday, I check in with my coach again. We're getting more aggressive because we're right under eight weeks out. We're 52 days out. So we got to get a little bit more aggressive. I'm 13 pounds away from weigh-in weight, which I will shatter easily and then carb up and be well over after the fact, but it's the mental game now. And then when we get into that last month, it's really the mental game. It's the struggle now. Like, uh, yeah, but thank you for asking. But mentally, strong like bull. Physically, feeling like shit. But we're getting there. The sacrifice, it's all part of it. Clive Christian, Rock Rose. I tried that one. That's really, really good. I have a decan of that. Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir EDP, one of the most versatile out there. Good to see you, Alan. Oh, so it's a double type. Okay. Or it just kind of came out twice. It probably glitched because I doubt you type that that quickly because they're literally back to back. My man kicks Griffey. Arabian Night Silver from Arabian. Ooh, that is a great fragrance. Kicks Griffey approved. FWO Wolfpack for life. Hell yeah. So I read this comment when I was waiting to go live. So my advice, guys is wait. This just proves that they didn't discontinue it. It'll get back to the discounters and you'll be able to go back to buying it between 100 and 110. Unless you just feel like you got to have it. It's 180 from Men's Sarah's website. Grab it. I went look when Will brought it up. It is indeed in stock for 180 compared to eBay prices. Yeah, it's the way to go. But this just shows they're still filling bottles and they're hitting their distributors and they're going to make it back to the gray market again. So if you just wait, you can probably save 70 to 80 bucks if you just wait a little bit. So you guys have been patient to this point because you really don't have a choice. If you just can be a little bit more patient or you can get it right here and now for 180 from Mansara. So there's that. Thanks for letting everybody know because I actually did not know that, Will, but I appreciate you spreading the word, my man. Dan, not the man, wearing Hawass. Randy, what's going on? Wearing a few fragrances today. Started with Serge Lutin. Five o'clock with Jean Jean Bray, my favorite from them, my favorite ginger fragrance. Glad you got around to that one. Nutmeg heavy niche, wanted by night with a fresh opening. I completely disagree about the wanted by night thing. I heard you say that in your live stream uh, when I popped in. I don't get wanted by night at all from that fragrance. I do the cacao on meat. Now, granted, I have a bottle that's several years old. Like we're talking like six years old. Um, the cacao pod comes across a little like leathery on my skin. Very rich, warm ginger. Um, it could be, uh, you know, many, many, many batches apart kind of thing. Or it could just be a skin chemistry olfactive profile, you know, olfactive perception kind of thing between the two of us from your bottle to my bottle. Because I don't get wanted by night at all. Because I heard you say that and I was like, hmm, I don't get that tie in. The nutmeg, though, I get Loads of ginger. It's it's to me the greatest ginger fragrance I've ever smelled. I can't say that's out there because I haven't tried them all. Not even close. But as far as what I've tried, it's the goat of ginger dominant fragrances for me. That's for sure. Sad it couldn't have been today. I mean, it is what it is. It's all good. We can we'll do it Tuesday and we'll have a good old time. Hope you're doing well though. Coco Local for Ethan. Great choice. PDM Perseus. Randy sent that in my package, so I can't wait to check that out. Bois 1920, Vento di Fiore. Never tried that one, but great to see you, John. Precious liquid, salt, and pepper. Good stuff. I have tried that once with Justin. Cryptic figure, good to see you. First Instinct Extreme. That's a great, all the First Instincts are good. Michael Jordan Legend, smelling like coffee and syrup. That's a good one. One of the better cheapies out there. 
Yo, Ross and Chad, hope all is well. BDK Citrus Riviera, such juicy citrus with a nice, clean, white floral mid and dry down, perk for the warm weather. Laid back vibes. Glad to have you. Glad you're enjoying your fragrance. We're at the 10-minute mark. We'll hit that split screen in just a moment. Let me find a good stopping point, and we will jump right into it. <clears throat> Dakota, good to see you. Ombre to Amber Tobacco, also looking at Burlington 1819 and a solo blue. What should I get first? That's tough. The more versatile is a solo blue. The more impressive is Burlington 1819. That's the di biggest difference. You can wear Burlington 1819 for anything. You just, it's very niche, very nuanced, super nuanced. But a solo blue, in my opinion, is the most versatile fragrance I've ever smelled. That's what, that's what got it to the 10 out of 10 for me. That was the extra bump to get it that half a point. That I normally give 9.5s and on, on occasion a 9.75. That's always been my 10s, one of those. But I, I, that one actually got the 10 because it's just so elite level versatile to me. So if it's me, I'd get, I'd get my money's worth more out of a solo blue. But if you want the more impressive of the two, just the better work of art profile, it's Burlington 1819. Just my thoughts. Renaissance is phenomenal. All right, so let me skip down a little bit. What's the boys got it? They won't ship fragrances unless it's hazmat ground now, or at least when I sell on Macari, that's how it works now. Noted. Good to see you, CJ. So let me skip down a little bit. Bloom's a no-go for me. Yeah, I can't imagine you liking it. If you you gotta like white floral. Got to. Yes, sir. Good to see you, Mikey. Looking lean, bro. I'm fucking working on it, man. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you, though. I'm, I'm, I actually did a workout vlog today because it's been over a month since the last one I did. It was like, all right, let me do an eight-week check-in. Because, uh, And it's ironically enough, it's the same workout. It's chest and arms but as the last workout vlog that I did. But I got to edit that, and I'm going to put that out tomorrow. Dan, not the man renewed. My man, appreciate you. So I'm skipping, guys, I'm skipping ahead. I apologize. I'm skipping so much. I'm trying to get to the bottom so we can go ahead and dive into the split screen and look at some of these new releases. All right, skipping down. My man renewed. Just showing love to the homie for amazing content and always dropping fragrance gems for us. Appreciate you, my guy. Uh, I am competing. Men's classic physique. Not physique, not the board shorts. Classic bodybuilding. It's called Classic Physique, uh, June 1st and June 29th in Louisiana. We talk about it in every stream. You must not have been catching the streams for the last three months. <laughs> Good to see you, Nathaniel. Because <clears throat> we talk about it literally in every stream. Somebody asks or mentions how things are all the time. Because I started prep 20 weeks ago, and I'm like seven and a half weeks out. It was tw not 20 weeks ago, but at the 20-week out mark, which has been almost 13 weeks. A little over 12 weeks I've been in prep dieting for the show. My man Dame, Aqua Breeze by Essential Obsessions. It's a blend. 10-4. God, so many to get caught up on. I'm so behind. The Bishop, good to see you. Joel, good to see you, sir. Shwarma and Bubble Tea. Better you than me. Dan, good to see you. Art of Shaving Green Lavender. Man, I'm so far behind. I apologize. I'm skipping so much, guys. I just want to uh, get to a decent spot. I see what you said, Randy. There, Phil. Oh, okay, well, I'm going I'm to check that out before we do our stream then. I didn't know if it was going to be part of the stream or not. Okay, we made it to the bottom. I'm going to stop on Smooth Operator and Roy. Let me catch Roy real quick. Everyone's doing great. I'm Wise Reflection Man. Great choice. And then Smooth Operator. Good to see you, Joel. I mean, uh, Noel, sorry. Um, Send a day office for men, even though I can't stand that guy. It's still a good fragrance. 10 4, 10 4. Shout out to Jeremy. So, all right, let's do our split screen. Let's jump over to iFragrance Official. If you are not following iFragrance Official on IG, I would highly encourage it because that's where they drop the information first. So this is what I'm most concerned with. They dropped it a few days ago, sometime last week. Love the color of the juice. I haven't looked at the notes yet because I know eventually we do one of these live streams. So I want to see what it's about. I always love a good chrome flanker. Let's see. Chrome Azure Eau de Toilette's a tribute to the Mediterranean gateway between Cassius and Capri. Basking under the sun, looking at the azure blue waters ahead and being in a blissful state of mind. The new fragrance boasts a rare blend of fresh and aquatic scents that takes you on a central sensorial journey to the irresistible Mediterranean beaches. Experience summer's ambiance like never before. That's a 
Bold statement right there. The blend begins with zesty Italian bergamot, like every fragrance on the planet, almost anyways, <laughs> leading to a soothing lavender ending with salty marine notes, offering the wearer a journey to their favorite holiday destination. So citrus, lavender, and aquatic notes. Seems pretty generic. They didn't give you, they, they only give you the generic here. That doesn't say it's going to be some impressive fragrance. What's different about this than any other aquatic in the line that says buy me at retail? That's my question for Azaro that I won't get answered until I just try it for myself because I will. I'm not buying this at retail. Nothing about this says buy me at retail, Ross. I don't know about you guys. Nothing. I was excited about this. I'm a little disappointed that this is the note breakdown because this comes across as so many other fragrances that I potentially have already because they give me so little to work with here. This looks like a generic aquatic. Sea notes, lavender, bergamot, nothing special here. Nothing unique, nothing that hasn't been done a ton of times before based on the information given. Now, what the actual formula is going to smell like, because as you and I know, there's not just three fragrance oils in this fragrance. I highly doubt that. That's usually not the case. That's just the way the designers do now. They give you three or four notes and say, here you go. Like main notes, main accords is what they want to give you. So I, it's hard to say. It, like I said, it looks like a disappointing generic release. Like I said, based on what I'm seeing and reading here. A little disappointed. Looks cool in the picture. I love the color of the juice. Looks promising. Then I read this and it's like, oh. You didn't give a shit when you made this fragrance. Is it me? Is it just me that thinks that? Looks like a generic release. Very disappointed. Because the last several chrome releases, Parfum, Eau de Parfum, they were all they were just great. Great fragrances. The last two were great. Hmm. So the bar was set pretty high. Now look, this could be amazing. I'm just going off of what I'm reading. And how it's the way I perceive what I'm reading. So can't judge the book by its cover. Got to read the book. And until I get the book, I can't read the book. So a little disappointed here. What do you guys think? Looks disappointing to you too, or is anybody actually excited? Um, wasn't planning on it. <clears throat> Appreciate the $5 super chat, but no, wasn't planning on it. They're all good. And I don't, uh, I don't do any ratings with Zaharoff because George is my best friend. So, like, I'll tell you what I think about the fragrance. I'll give you guys what I legitimately think. Like, I told you guys from the start with this. Like, it is not for everybody. Dangerous blind buy here for some guys. If you just know you're not into florals, like Randy said, that he's going to be out on this one. Yeah. You don't like white florals, steer clear. Samples would be available when it launches on the 15th. So, if you're skeptical at all, it's not worth saving the few bucks to risk it. Because the pre-order, it is the cheapest you'll get it for. But wait for the samples if you're skeptical. Unless you are certain, don't pre-order this fragrance. Because um, you still have six days to pre-order it. Uh, it's $30 off retail right now. But uh, as far as top five, top ten, I mean, between weekly rotations and doing the launch videos and live streams with George and stuff like that, I just I don't really see the need. Because, I mean, I've constantly talked about my top three being rosé, black rose, and uh, in citrine. I talk about that all the time. Leather tobacco. Like, I can just tell you my top five real quick instead of, you know, doing a dedicated video to it. Um, but, yeah, I, I have no plans. I saw your comment earlier. I just I have no plans to do that video because um, I do an, I do a review on every single release because I do the launch video on every release. So, like my thoughts are given all, constantly, basically, on these fragrances. So I have I have a large library of Zahara videos. Basically, is how you can look at it. Again, he's my best friend, so I like I want to explore his fragrances, and I'm lucky enough to be involved in the testing phases and all the good stuff, and give my opinions. So, but I appreciate the super chat. But now, look, if a ton of people say they want to see it, that's different. One person asks. It's not really something I'm interested in doing or had a plan on doing. Uh, but if enough people, you know, like the, uh, I tell you guys right now, like the last four videos I've done, 
recorded videos, individual fragrances, doing shit for views. I'm about to stop like all the other bigger channels have done. I'm about to stop doing individual fragrance videos. I'm about to stop. I see why everybody else stops unless it's a super popular or hype fragrance. <laughs> bigger channels don't do individual reviews because they get shit for views. They just do. No, not enough people watch them. So I've said recently, uh, you guys dictate the formats in this space. It all depends on the viewers. And like 50 of you right now might be saying, no, 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 we like that content, but 50 views is not a lot of views. I'm, obviously, I get more than 50 views on these videos, but a few hundred views on something, that's thats nothing at this point. <clears throat> and it, it just, it makes, is it worth the time and effort invested to do? Now, you're asking about a list video. I get it. That's different. But just in general, uh, I wanted to mention that while, while we're on the topic of content. Because I've noticed, like I did two videos today, I did two videos yesterday. That's usually when I do the double video days is because I know they're not going to do a lot of views. So I'll throw two out there. That happens a lot. So just giving you guys some insight into that. But I'll definitely give it some thought, Don. I know I said not really, but I'll give it some thought. I may, Maybe I'll put a poll out on, uh, on my community page and see if it's got some interest outside of just yourself. And if it shows a decent amount of interest, you know. Then we can go ahead and do it. You know, gotta give the people what they want at the end of the day. But it's gotta have some interest, you know, because I'm constantly doing constantly doing content. And I obviously I want to get I want it to work out for the time and effort put into the content. Uh, because I do so many things that are counterproductive to the algorithm here on YouTube. Um, I like to do passion projects, and that's counterproductive. When you do things you're you're most passionate about, it's very counterproductive because it's not what the majority of the audience wants. The majority of the audience wants topics and compliments and all these different things like that. Shallow topics, as I like to call them. That's what that's what the majority want. So I know it's very long winded, but how about this? That's the deal I work out with you. I won't say no. I won't say yes. I will put a poll out after this on my community page and see what kind of votes it gets on a yes or a no. Fair enough. And I appreciate Super Chat. I really do. But that's that's how I'll. Uh, how I think it'll work out best for both of us. Let's see. Let's see what kind of interest that it garners. And if enough people vote yes, like if it's a high enough percentage, it's just not necessarily number of votes. It's just high because not everybody sees the community post. High enough percentage of yes versus no. I'll make the video. Fair. Appreciate you. I appreciate the super chat. I really do. Seriously. Good day, fine, sir. Good to see you, Paul. Sweetness underneath. Chrome Azure sounds like a Microsoft product. Sin of the day, Mincera Midnight Gold. That's a great fragrance. Underappreciated. Wearing this all week, and it's really starting to grow on me. I love Chrome. I love the Chrome line as a whole. That's why this is kind of disappointing, because it just looks so generic. That I'm super excited about. I'm always excited about the... so Because there's no, no official information, just that picture that's floating around. So, Because trust me, iFragrance will have the info out as soon as it's they ready to, you know? Trying to get caught up real quick, and we'll dive into one of these men's series. Got my nose on Prada Ocean. Open smells like unsweet chocolate. Are you talking about the Le Parfum? Because there's three versions. The Le Parfum would be the newest one. Signature tobacco. Excellent, excellent choice. That one definitely falls into the top five. Leather tobacco and tobacco would be my four and five. Outside of rosé, black rose, and citrine. That's for sure. <clears throat> it does. Well, that's kind of generic, too. Wanted tonic. That's kind of generic, too, honestly. I like it. Don't love it. It's ginger and lime. Uh, doesn't smell a whole lot like Azara wanted. I mean, it's it's better than the, the tag it's gotten over the years. But, I mean, it's not anything special. Just as generic as this chrome flanker looks. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, my bottle comes in tomorrow. I saw Kuba got his bottle today. I saw his post on his IG stories. All right, let me skip down for a little bit. JT, good to see you, my man. Metal Rain, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a hell of a price. You get the first soft clap, live stream soft clap. Hell yeah, great deal. Not afraid of florals at all, but we'll sample bloom first probably. That's, that's a wise play. If you're not certain, wait. 
Fair, fair enough. I appreciate that, Don. Thank you, my man. Kara, good to see you. I appreciate that, Kara. Um, so tomorrow, um, George is going to be in New York. So we were going to do a live stream tomorrow. We're not now. So typical, I take my day off from streaming on Wednesday. So tomorrow's the day that I'll have the time to be able to do that long ass video. So that video will be out on Thursday or Friday, probably Friday, because I got a collaboration video for Thursday uh, with Fragrance Buy. And then I'll put, but I'm going to record it. The Mancera video, I'm going to record and edit tomorrow and it'll come out on Friday. So wanted to let you know that, Kara. I'm glad you brought it up. All right, let me skip down a little bit, try to get caught up. And that's the truth. That's most people. Now, individual reviews over time, they'll get videos. But as far as like the first several days, they do nothing unless it's super hyped, super anticipated new release. Stuff like that, yeah, they'll they'll do some decent views to to really good views, but if it's stuff that's been around for a little bit or like um, it's indie stuff or niche, they don't do shit for views. They just don't. <laughs> they really, they, it's, it kind of sucks. It's unfortunate because that's the fun stuff to smell and talk about, but they don't do shit for views. No, I need to do the dossier one today. I need to close that and do the comment picker after this stream. I was looking at it earlier. Appreciate that. Thank you. Indeed he did. Indeed he did. I guess he didn't see that I shared it because I never saw, I was expecting him to throw a little comment out there in the post, but he never saw it. I don't think. Damn. I'm so, I get so far behind. I'm not even close. Here we go. After this question, we'll dive into the next one. Actually, let me read. I, this caught my eye. They typically do. Like I have a Mancera, an older top 10 that's almost at 100,000 views. It's at 90-something thousand. The one that at the top 15 I did the other day, it's in the teens. 15, 16, 17, 18. Something like it's, it's in the teens. It's five five digits. It's doing pretty good um, with some good watch time and everything. It's just uh, this one's going to do – it's going to do well. It's going to have some good watch time overall. It's just going to take time. Like, it'll have a good initial hit. It won't be like my number one video in my last 10, but it'll probably be middle of the pack, I would think, because not everybody's going to be excited to see the the time length of the video because it's going to be a long video. Some people don't want to sit through a video that long. And then I'm going to hear the babies crying about time stamps because I don't do time stamps. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to have to hear about that. But I'm glad you're very excited. I'm excited to make it. It's just going to take time. Because I love Mancera. I love talking Mancera. But let me get the smooth operator real quick. That's a tough one because I've kind of been dabbling into what I want to get more of, like more Zerjoff this year. That was a goal for me, and I've grabbed pretty much the ones I want. Um, nothing specific as far as houses I haven't gotten anything from. Nothing comes to mind immediately. Not really. I know that's not really the answer you're looking for, but it is it's the honest in the moment answer. All right. So where's these Manceras? Let's look at Eternal Wood. Talk to me. Introducing Eternal Wood, a sensorial journey that transports you from San Cristobal to the Chihuahuan deserts and immerse yourself in the allure of Palo Alto. A new elevating experience that heightens the senses. The spicy blend opens with a touch of roasted Laotian oud that infiltrates the senses with the invigorating duo of licorice and red saffron. I have, I'm intrigued. The heart is composed of woody, resinous nuances of Palo Santo, white copal resin, and cashmere wood for an elevated intensity. The robust blend nests on sweet toffee cozy tonka beans along with a woodsy touch of amber and oak moss this one's interesting oud divana so there's some sweetness saffron some red saffron palo santo which is a creamy wood resin whatever that i don't know which resin but resin guyac wood smoky wood cashmere wood soft wood brown toffee tonka beans amber and oak moss i bet this is gonna be good I bet this is going to be good. That's the same kind of oud that's in um, late and exclusive. It's a sweeter oud. Hmm. This one's interesting because that saffron 
can dictate a lot of things. It could be leathery. It could be spicy. It could be ambery. It could be metallic. So it depends on the saffron. What kind of role does it play here? I think it'll kind of steer the ship. This one's interesting. This one's got a chance of being really, really good. Doesn't that look good? Is it just me? I think that looks really good. In practice, when spraying it and smelling it, who knows, right? But this note pyramid's very interesting. What do you guys think? This is one I'd like to get. I'm very curious about this one. Oh, I don't know. I've been buying so much shit lately. I'm not doing a shopping spree right now. <laughs> I've been buying so much stuff, man. Yeah, we're not doing that right now anytime soon. Not, not at least for a few more weeks. Matt with $2 Super Chat. I think I missed something. What Mancera vid now? So I'm ranking all 40 of my Manceras. It's going to be a long video. Because when I did the top 15, it wasn't good enough. Because I had a lot of belly aching and crying and whining. And why? I can't believe Ooh, Lemon Mint's not here. What about Silver Blue? I thought you said you didn't you give that a 9 out of 10? I love, love most of my Mancera fragrances. But out of 40, not all can be top 15. I had to do top 15 because I could not just do 10. And practicality of how much, you know, what I want to wear the most and what suits my personality more is what made the top 15. And I just too many people belly ached and complained. So it's like, all right, you got to show up for me because it's going to be a long ass video and it's going to take a lot of time and effort to do. Even with minimal editing, it's going to take a lot of time and effort to do, but I'm going to rank every single one from my least favorite to my favorite. Now the top 15 is already set up. I just got to put them in place. But just getting started of trying to figure out how I'm going to rank the back end 25 is going to be a pain in the ass. And then I got to try to be as quick as I can with still giving my full thoughts in a summarized manner on 40 fragrances in one video. Try to make it as short as I can, and it's not going to be short. Then it's going to, that big ass 4K file is going to take forever to render. Not forever, because since I upgraded the graphics card and everything, it, it doesn't even sweat. My computer doesn't even strain now. That was a bottleneck. Um, any of you that tech savvy, you know the term. It was a bottleneck that I had before, but no problem now. Um, it's going to take a little while, and then to upload that big file is going to take a little time. So we're looking at several hours, even without any fancy graphics and editing, for me to do that video. Uh, so Because i got to dedicate probably four or five hours, to, yeah, I would say about four hours, to do that video, realistically. Three and a half, four hours. So, uh, so that's coming. That's going to come out Friday. Tomorrow is going to be the filming for it, because I'll have the time to do it tomorrow since I'm not streaming tomorrow, um, and that'll come out Friday. So there's that. It's going to be long. It's going to be long. I think so, too. Greetings from Australia, Mont Blanc. Absolute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Someone will always have something to say. Keep doing a great job. You can't please everyone. Oh, that is what, yeah. I appreciate you, Will. I appreciate you, my man. I had a rant yesterday. No rants today, guys. Well, I We're... I want to break away from doing those rants because, you know, people suck. It is what it is. I'm on the Internet. People suck. Not all of you, but there are people that suck. And we'll leave it at that. No rants today. We're just going to talk some fragrances. But I appreciate you, Will. I do, seriously. Good smelling mother truckers. I love it. Afnan ornament. I think so. This note breakdown looks very attractive to me. Sean, good to see you, my man. Glad my work day is over. Heading home, listening to this live. It's the end of the day. Speaking of Mancera, he's wearing Cosmic Pepper. Lovely fragrance. Lasted my whole work time. Just reapplied before walking out. What is a good man beginner Mancera outside of Cedrat Boise? I would say Aqua Wood. Very versatile. Citrus fruity. A lot of pear and orange. Uh, it's not all that sweet. A little bit of incense. It's an in aquatic, ambery. Uh, kind of like a better twist on... Bulgari's Aqua Mara. It's not as musky of a fragrance. It's not a musky orange smell, but uh, Aqua Wood, I would say, is another good beginner option. I love the long days, but that's good to know, Matt. I'm glad you, <laughs> I can count you in. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, we talked about the disappointing look of Chrome Azure. They literally listed bergamot, lavender, and C notes. What they put on paper sounds super generic. I'm still going to get it when it hits discounters. I'm not buying that at retail. It looks like a generic release. Who knows? That could just be the main accords that they're throwing out. But that's the only one we covered. Now we're covering Eternal Wood from Mancera. And this looks really, really good. I got the note pyramid right there. 
It looks really good. Vetiver Sensual is another. I'm not surprised you said that, Joel. I know that's your favorite. Uh, that's a great option, too, especially if you want to get a good vetiver, easy to wear vetiver. That's a really good one. Savage EDP layered with pure white. Uh, I would say so you can put Triumph of Bacchus and Triumph of Bacchus X straight one and one A, one A and one B, just same spot. Adonis Awakens at two. I would probably put, at this point put Birth of Venus number three, then Donye number four. Donye used to be number three, but Birth of Venus has grown on me a lot. I really like Birth of Venus. So four. I would say four. Used to be three. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. No doubt. I hope you enjoy it. Again, it's not a special profile. It's the feeling and the vibe of the fragrance that makes it special to me. It's not some crazy unique fragrance. It smells really good. It's just, it's the theme of it and what comes with it to me. Nick, good to see you, sir. The name is top tier. There you go. DJ, good to see you. CK Defy EDP. No, so he's going to be in New York. I talked to him earlier. He's going to be in New York, so he's not going to be able to do it. So we're not streaming tomorrow. No stream with George tomorrow. Indeed. My favorite IFBB pro, Michael Gassaway, heading to the gym. Just want to pop in and say hello, Ross, in the chat. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Wore Aqua Sexius earlier. Sprayed Aqua de Parma Colonia Pura, my favorite, as a refresher before the gym. I hope you have a great workout, my man. You giant son of a bitch. Don't hurt the weights too much. Save some of the weight for the other people that are going to train today. <laughs> so on that note, let's go into the other Amberful, the other new announced release from Mancera. Let's see what that's about. And anybody else saw this and thought Shinane from Martin? It's Shinane, but I can't help but think Shinane when I see that. Hell, let's look at it. Let's look at Nishane's Shinane fragrance. I'll never not want to call it that. It's just, it's got to be Shanae. They need to adjust it. Add a Y right there. <laughs> Shanae. I don't even care to read the write-up. Let's look at the notes. Aldehydes. Ooh, you have my interest already. Aldehydes, blood orange, elmi essence, galbanum essence, a little earthy green, gardenia, tuberose, magnolia, a whole lot of creamy white floral in the heart, muget, Greek gum essence, sepis, Sipis, Sepis, Absolute, don't know what the hell that is. Indian Sandalwood, more creaminess. Civet, some musk, creamy musk. Civet's typically a creamy musk. Virginia Cedar, Opinox Essence, Oak Moss, and Benzoin. This sounds like a creamy fragrance with a very bright top because of the aldehydes. This could be either really good or just terrible. I don't think this would, based on the notes, this looks like it would be really good or just like awful for me. I don't know. That is not a safe blind buy. Not that I ever thought a Nishane fragrance was all that safe a blind buy in the first place. This one in particular looks in the dangerous blind buy territory to me. Like it could be like really off-putting or just phenomenal. Oh my God, this is amazing. Everybody should try this. I mean, it is Shinane, right? I'm sorry, it's Shinane. I don't care if it's not spelled to be Shinane. It's Shinane. Close enough. Yeah, I think there's going to be no in-between with this. It's either going to be really, really good or really, really bad. Thoughts on Shinane, ladies and gentlemen. And back to where I was going before. Let's go to Amberful. There it is. So I, I don't think I've ever smelled a Mancera that, was in, that had this look that wasn't a good fragrance. I think Royal Vanilla. I think Instant Crush. What other one do I have that's in the Melody of the Sun is in this style bottle as well? I just want to get to the notes. Pink Pepper, Japanese Yuzu, Calabrian Bergamot, Indian Nutmeg, Amberwood, Powdery Violet, specifically Powdery Violet, Suluizan, 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 I'm sure I'm not doing that right, Patchouli, <laughs> Intense Amber, Cedar and Moss. Intense amber, powdery violet. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it's going to smell good. It doesn't look like a challenging fragrance to me. Just got to like powdery fragrances, basically. Count me in. I like powdery fragrances. 
This actually looks like it could be pretty versatile for a clearly powdery fragrance. Why else would they put that it's powdery violet? I think I, I think I'm oh, I don't know. I think Eternal Wood's more interesting. This is probably an easier wear. Thoughts? Let's discuss. Let's see where was I? Born in Roma, my favorite, great choice. Golan Ohm. I've never I don't recall ever trying Golan Ohm. Fragrance Fraternity, good to see you, sir. As I sniff on some Alexandria samples, hell yeah. John, good to see you, sir. Mercedes-Benz EDT just got a big 8-ounce bottle yesterday for 45 bucks. That's a hell of a price for that much. I thought it said Shanene, too. That's what I'm saying. It looks like Shanene, right? Mushroom Accord. Didn't know that. I learned something. Thank you, John Carlo. Pearl. That's another. I don't have that one, though. But, yeah, Pearl's in that same bottle style. You're right. Don't blind buy Shanene. I would go as far as to say Wulong Cha is a pretty safe blind buy if you like green tea and citrus. It is. EGE, I would say, is a pretty safe blind buy. And Ani. But to people that aren't used to that, let's say you're coming from the designer market, maybe a little risky, even though they're not challenging fragrances, might still be a little risky. But overall, pretty safe fragrances, I agree. Fair ones having a good one. Rockin' Creed Tabarome. I We were talking about that one in the chat yesterday. Brigmatic Law. Good to see you. Forgot all about that show. How could you forget about Martin? Come on now. Don't like it? Blame Shinunu. Uh, no, sir, I am not. I am not. I will be uh, in the final stages of prep. I'm going nowhere in May. I'm not going to SmackDown with Dedrick in Jacksonville on May 17th because of, uh, because of prep. I'm going to be, at that point, four weeks out from my show. Crucial time. The final month is the most crucial time. No, sir, I am not going to shout out to Refinery Fragrances. More power to him. Uh, hope hope it goes well for him. I will not be going. Check me off as the will not attend. Yeah, that's just, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I'm going to Louisiana towards the end of this month, and that's it to visit friends and family because they've been on my ass. And then when May rolls around, very regimented, checking in every other day with my coach. It's going to be really dialing it in at that point. So, mm, yeah, no travel for me because May is crucial. June is very crucial because I got June 1st is the first show. June 29th, four weeks later, second show. So I got to keep everything in order. That in-between show, like that's going to be wild to experience that. Hitting all-timer from Mancera. Seems to be getting nice hype already. I mean, it looks like it's going to be really good. <clears throat> right? I know. It's in other countries. Like uh, Mark, Aussie Fragrance, he's been having a bottle. It's just not here yet. Eleven fifty nine Eastern Standard Time is what time tomorrow? That would be eleven fifty nine Eastern Standard Time. I don't, I don't understand your confusion. You literally put what time that is in your comment or question. I don't understand your confusion. Now she said, "Shanene, I have Shaniqua. Don't live there no more." In my head, <laughs> Shaniqua don't live in no more. Nico, good to see you, sir. Ralph's Club Parfum, great fragrance. Uh, 184.4 yesterday. I didn't weigh myself this morning. I weigh myself most mornings fasted. Uh, I'll weigh myself again tomorrow to do the mid check midway point between check-ins. I got another check-in with my coach on Friday. We're doing every four days now. Um, I'm anticipating based on the more aggressive nutrition plan that I got put on yesterday that I'm probably going to be like 181. Probably 181. My stomach's on fire right now, by the way. If you haven't noticed, I keep doing this. Um, I have what's called vessel burn on my midsection. It's when you're getting it's best kept secret in contest prep. What it does, it literally you feel like you're on fire. Got it on my midsection. It helps to increase the blood flow, brings blood flow to the surface underneath, right underneath the skin to help kind of accelerate the fat burning process when you're dieting for a show to get rid of those stubborn areas like my lower abdomen, lower back area, um, Skin's actually red right now. And as you heat up, your body heats up. It feels like you're leaning against a hot barbecue pit. I've had it on since this morning. I've been the last four days. I uh, put it on in the morning before I do cardio, and it lasts through most of the day. And, like, I'm leaning over right now, so, like, my lower abdomen is, like, 
generating a lot of body heat. So I'm like sweating and on fire right there. So yeah, <laughs> speaking of weigh in. So point being, the reason I'm bringing that up, I anticipate in being like 181 ish Friday, 181 point something fasted. And no, it's not some quick fix to melt fat off. It's a topical cream, uh, but it sh shit works. My God. That's what it does is it increases blood flow because your lowest blood flow area is your midsection on your entire body. So if you can increase the blood flow and increase the heat, you can metabolize a lot better in those areas. That's what that's for. Yeah, we talked about it at the beginning of the stream, actually. And it needs to be a brother man flanker. Yes, I was brother man. I do not do any push-ups. I, I train. I just lift weights, man. No push-ups. Had to put my cut on pause. My supervisors made me do another two weeks. Two weeks earlier, had already done. 17 floors building patrols. Just a bit too much with my cut. Eating at maintenance. I would damn near kill to be eating at maintenance. I can't wait till Saturday. It, it'll have been 15 days since my last high-carb day. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. This camcorder is coming with me. My wife will have it set up on a tripod. I'm going to be doing a vlog and she's going to film everything for me. Plus, they have a professional photographer and videographer that you you pay a little bit that's going to get the footage that they take. I'm going to post everything. It's going to be on my other channel. But, yeah, I'm going to post everything. <clears throat> Give all my trolls something to touch themselves to, me and me and posing trunks. I mean, you know, it's people that are obsessed with me. I'm sure they're going to want to touch themselves to seeing me almost naked. Jimmy Choo, man, Aqua. Good to see you, my man. You working tonight? This is this guy runs the night shift, by the way, as Joel works a lot of nights, too. Jimmy Choo, man, Aqua. That's a good one. It's called Vaso Burn. Now, look, that's why I made sure to stress, if you're not, like, almost stage, like, really trim, if you haven't gotten pretty trim and eliminate a lot of body fat, it's pointless. It's not just going to, like, help somebody lose weight. I want to make sure to don't waste your $55 unless you're, like, relatively lower body fat because i've gotten to where i'm in a lower body fat percentage at this point to where it's to get rid of those stubborn areas i'm not shredded yet or anything but i'm not heavy like i was a couple of months ago uh so i wanted to let you know if if you're if you're just looking to just burn fat with it it's not for that unless you're already getting pretty lean so just, now if you are already there yeah by all means it's called vessel burn b-a-s-o-b-u-r-n no, God, no. I'm, I'm low calorie, man. I'm weak as hell right now. I say that. I mean, I'm still stronger than the average bear, I guess, or whatever. But I know it's smarter than the average bear is the term. But I've lost a lot of strength because I've lost a lot of weight. I'm low calorie. It's harder to recover. And it's been for a while. No, that's when you're eating in a surplus of calories and you're stronger. Definitely not strong right now. Not compared to where I was a few months ago. I was much, much stronger. From Mansara, it's 180. We're in Central, so I figured out. Yeah, it's just an hour before. Night Shift Brothers, there you go. No, that's one I don't have. I have Oud Line and Lemon Line. I've never tried Black Line. Dream set of wheels. I've been trying to get my hands on a nice manual performance-oriented vehicle since they're pushing out stick shifts. Um... I'm going to get a C7 Corvette sooner than later. Not in a big hurry. Uh, early 70s C3 Corvette or a C7 Corvette. I'm a Corvette guy. I'll have one eventually. Not in a big rush. Never tried it. Not a big scandal. For, I, don't, I didn't care for the first two, the original and the Le Parfum, enough to get bottles of them. I have, I have decants. Uh, Randy sent me the Le Parfum decant like a year and a half ago. Longer than that, actually. It's close to two years ago. <clears throat> so, no, no, I am not. No, I am not. I am not looking to take that much gear and shave years off of my life to push for that. I'm not trying to, you know, like make it my life's work or make it a profession, be a professional or anything. Uh, so I was talking about it yesterday. I'll talk about it one more time because uh, I know some people don't want to hear it and we're going to lose some viewers. But uh, bear with me for those of you that still want to talk fragrance. Um, I look at Max on a little ad right here. <laughs> that's kind of funny, huh? I'll let it play. What the hell? Uh, that's kind of funny. Speaking of Scent Explorer, we said Scent Explorer and a Max Forte ad popped up. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so I'm doing these first two shows and then coming off of being on stage, being that level lean, I then want to go into an off season where I build from there to see where and how I can improve and go into doing a show here in Florida next summer. And then I'll reevaluate after that. I may be done with it. Maybe I'll do it again in another year, but that's the thing. I want to have been stage lean and then do an off season where I build with a different type of focus because I'm coming off of having had a prep, having competed. It's totally different this time around from the training I've done in the past with the, like, as far as the focus is totally different now. So that's what it's going to be for. I'm not trying to chase a pro card or anything. I'd have to put a lot more muscle on. Um, I do have the frame to get ridiculously big if I wanted to, but I'm not trying to like just juice myself out of my gorge. I'm not trying to do that <laughs> to compete. You, I would have to, to, to push that level to try to get a pro card. I'm just not interested in getting that damn big. I'm just not, I just, it's for the love of the game kind of thing. It's a bucket list experience thing that I always want to do. So that's kind of my plan. That's what I'm literally in the process of executing. But thank you for asking. The Bishop, good to see you. Uh, everything. Literally both Mancera fragrances. Uh, Shanane from Nishane, as we're calling Shanane. Um, and Chrome Azure looks like a disappointment. Finally bought... Blindly bought it. Oh, Selly. Shout out to Selly. Speaks highly of it, though. I blind bought all the Manceras, and they haven't let me down yet. C7 Vet. Yeah, that's this prettiest Corvette ever to me is a C7 Corvette. I'm a Camaro guy myself. 10-4. 10-4. 200 push-ups every other day. Just started sit-ups. I got to improve my diet. That's the hard part. The workout's the fun. The kitchen is the hard part. I, I would love to have a snack right now. You know what I had before this stream? <clears throat> when I got home from the gym, I had two scoops of whey protein and 40 grams weight of rice checks, which is 35 grams of carbs in practice. And then about an hour later, I'm still hungry because I ain't shit. I had a portion of sugar-free strawberry blue ras stra starburst blue raspberry jello, portion about that big. Sugar-free, zero calories. It was like 10 calories or something, but it's sugar-free. That was my snack. <clears throat> Later when I have a snack, it's going to be some uh, baby dill, kosher baby dill pickles. No real caloric value to them. My next meal is 170 grams of 97% lean ground turkey with 75 grams of spinach. The meal after that is the exact same thing. The meal after that is 140 grams of 96.4 uh, ground beef, 96% lean, 140 grams of that, a whole egg, and 75 grams of spinach once again. That's the kind of meals I'm looking at right now. You see all the cool carbs I get out of that? Spinach for these last three meals. Yeah. It's aggressive. And then in the mornings, I lost my whole egg. It's just egg whites now on my breakfast. Like all my carbs are before I work out. My my first meal after after I break my fast after doing cardio, my pre workout meal that's where all my carbs are, minus the post workout with the rice checks. The rest of the day I don't get shit. I get zero carbs because I mean the, it takes you expend more calories trying to digest the spinach that you don't fully digest than its actual caloric value. Just like with broccoli, your body burns more than the actual caloric value trying to digest it. So I'm basically getting no carbs the rest of the day. Like it's gotten a lot more aggressive. Like a lot more aggressive. Less sweet by far the best in line. I might need to check it out then. Anyone know a new Profondo releases in the States? Uh, I bought it from uh, Joma Shop. I don't know if they still have it in stock. I bought it from Joma Shop. It hasn't shipped yet for 130 bucks. It said five to seven days. It hasn't shipped yet. I bought it like five days ago, roughly. Somebody in the chat had told me, hey, they got in stock, so I went and I bought it. Shout out to the Miami Hurricanes. Inked Cane. I like the name. No way there's actually a fragrance named after Martin. No, it would, it's missing one Y to be Shanane. It's Shanane is what it looks like anyways. Well, we'll go look at it real quick. Hello. Shanane. 
add a Y right in there, and you got Shinene. Definitely calling it the Nene. There you go. I don't care about cars. I'm super tall, so I love my my Nissan myself a Nissan SUV. <clears throat> I love it. It's quite good. It's still not on the shelf. It's on the desk behind me because I randomly pull it and smell it all the time. Oh, yeah, because there's slight tweaks to it. <clears throat> the last time she changed it on me was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So it's been a while since she adjusted anything. We were like rolling for like several weeks, a few weeks, three or four weeks. Whereas it changed Monday and I told you the things that got eliminated. Like that's a whole leg doesn't sound like a lot on a meal, but it's all of the flavor and the fat. Now I'm getting some fat, 4% fat from the ground beef in those meals, but that whole egg, that yolk, because I do them over medium, kind of between over medium and over easy. So I can break that yolk over the ground beef and cut up the egg and everything. And I mix the egg with the ground beef and it's fucking delicious. And with the meals I eat, that is the tastiest meal that I get. So you take my whole egg away and it's just egg whites and all the flavors gone now. <sighs> the mental struggle has really kicked in at this point. What are you willing to sacrifice to achieve the goal? Diet is dedication. It really is. It, bodybuilding is a mental game. Training's fun. Bodybuilding is a mental game. No crimson chin from the fairly odd parents. Oh, because it does look like the tick. <laughs> Elysium Parfum Cologne. Yes, sir. What's going on, Montrese? How are you? I do not miss dieting. I would get so irritated so fast. I do. I do. Um, notice y'all get a lot more rants on the live streams. I get irritated a lot easier. <clears throat> I love Zanzibar. It's getting better with maceration. Very different than anything I got. Y'all remember hit that like button. We still got to cross the 100 like mark. Really? I haven't looked. We've been hovering around 120. We got around 140 at one point. Oh, we got 100. Appreciate you guys. I just clicked refresh. I've never tried that one, Gary. I'm assuming good stuff. So a uh, little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, low sodium. And uh, that's pretty much it. Because I'm not allowed to have onion and onion powder, garlic and garlic powder. It's literally in my plan. I can't cook with onions. I can't cook with onion powder or anything like that. Why? I don't know. I never asked. I just do. I, I pay her for a reason. <laughs> She's a proven winner. We had a great conversation last night. I'm, I'm eager. It's rough. It's getting rougher. That's part of it, though. And I'm still like seven and a half weeks out, roughly. So it's getting there. Once we get to four weeks out, that's when it's really, really, really going to be that much harder. Because the, the PM cardio, the nighttime cardio, the twice a day cardio is coming. Because she's not going to starve me out. She told me I don't starve people, so don't worry about that. So even though the meals don't sound fun, it is plenty of nutrition in a pretty hefty deficit. I've been doing 60 to 70 because the plan says 60 minutes fasted cardio on the elliptical. I do 75 minutes on certain days. Like tomorrow, I'm not lifting, so I'm going to do 75 minutes. But most days, I would say half the week I do 60 minutes, the other half I do 75. But there's going to come a point when she has me doing probably 30 minutes in the evening. So there's going to be days when I do three workouts a day. Morning fasted cardio, lifting midday, evening cardio. That is coming. Aerial and country, my friends that, that use Lacey, that, that's where my coach, the recommendation came from. They uh, they had to do the PM cardio last year for prep, and uh, they're going to have to do this this year too because we're all doing the same show together. And, uh, yeah, the country told me the other day, he said, oh, the PM cardio is coming. Get ready. Especially when you're so lean that you have no padding on your feet. Your feet are going to be killing you just to do cardio. Oh, great. It sounds great. Fragulators, I, I like that. I don't think I've ever heard anybody use that word before. Just hearing your diet reminds me of why I don't cut weight anymore. <laughs> she used Miss Dash. Now that's what I do. Took the words out of my mouth, Ross, when I was typing. Have you seen Ross's rants? Yeah. That's why you get more rants because I get irritated so much easier now. I'm conscious of it, but oh man, I'm just fucking easy to irritate me now. <laughs> it just is. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry for bullshit food. This is what it is. 
Blue Electric. Man, I haven't worn that in so long. Good to see you, though. No onion or garlic powder. Come on, man. Yeah, no, I love cooking with onion and garlic powder. Just frying up some veggies and lean chicken, a little pepper, and I'm good. It's a clone of both Azaro Most Wanted. Noted. That's coming. That's coming where the caffeine's going to get cut out. Mm, mm, I have anywhere from like 600 to 800 milligrams of caffeine a day right now to carry my ass. The caffeine's going to get cut out at some point, like the last week, no caffeine. And then there's salt load and potassium load at a certain point. I got a water load right before, literally like two or three days before, I believe, is when I got a water load. Peak week. Peak week's its own nightmare. I can't wait to go through it. It's going to be fucking miserable, but I can't wait to go through it because that's the real experience of bodybuilding is peak week. For those of you who don't know what peak week is, it is the week before the show, the week that leads up to getting on stage. That's the nightmare. That's what separates... A championship mentality from somebody that ain't cut out for it is peak week. I have witnessed it many times. Friends, my dad going through it. I've never done it. And I am damn sure doing it twice. Twice. The last week of May and the last week of June. I have to do two peak weeks for this prep because I'm doing two shows a month apart. It's going to be wild. I'm going to be, no matter what I place and where, I'm going to be so glad I did it though. Because I've been wanting to do this since I was a teenager. I'm so I'm gonna be so glad I did it. Spicy chicken biscuits from Chick-fil-A. That's good stuff. Uh, as far as the first meal after, I don't know, but the first thing after I get off stage on June 1st is uh we've stocked up on Cadbury caramel eggs. I have 21 five-pack boxes. I'm stocked up for the several months following, so I can have some here and there because that's my favorite candy. I do it every year. I stock up during Easter on Cadbury caramel eggs, chocolate eggs, and cream eggs. It's mostly caramel eggs. I would say of the 21 boxes, like 16 of them are caramel eggs, maybe 15, 16 boxes. But, yeah, that's the only thing I'm worried about is eating Cadbury eggs after this shit ends. As far as what meals, who knows? Because um, I, I ate relatively healthy for the most part before. Like the difference with – um with the because I've been eating the same lean turkey before I was prepping. The difference was I had onions and carrots in it over a good bit of rice cooked in butter. It was cooked in a little bit of butter. Can't cook with butter. I use olive oil and stuff like that. Like, There's very little bit of olive oil too because I can't have too much of the calories for the fat and everything. It's kind of wild. Oh, it's going to be that's going to be the worst part of prep for me is when she cuts the caffeine on me. Shoot me. I don't know how I'm going to get through. Shoot me. Yeah, that's going to happen. It's going to be brutal. I appreciate that because that is something I do miss is the Chinese buffet over here. We got we got one that I really like. I can't wait to do that again. That's probably the meal I'm looking forward to the most is going to do that in my wife's spaghetti. I told her I wanted to cook spaghetti after I'm done with all this. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's, and it's not just the men from the boys because the women go through it too. That's why I said champions from people that aren't cut out for this shit. Not everybody can do it. Uh, it's going to be fucking miserable. Yeah, for sure. Bodybuilding is not healthy. It's not. It's not a healthy thing to get, you know, onion peel skin dry and lean, you know, show striations in the muscle and all that shit and veins everywhere. That's not a healthy thing to do. That's why it's good that it's just a temporary thing. Hugo Reverse, good stuff. Anything with a sod, I'm getting because both fragrances are bangers. Hey, I agree. Assad's great, and Assad's and the bar is amazing. I think it's really good. With cilantro and dressing, Chick-fil-A epic. No, it's okay. I don't mind. Just like yesterday when we were talking about grape ape from Making Sense, it was like, man, I wanted a grape soda so damn bad. It's right here. This will suffice. <sighs> so good, grape ape. It smells like orange crush. I mean, a grape crush and grape slice. Those sodas specifically. Well, I'll be in Louisiana. It depends on what's available to me there. Not really. Savage Elixir is better. But, I mean, you're fine with that. Yes, I think so. I think Ambassador Intense is. Because it's it starts off kind of like Savage Elixir, but they go their own ways. 
when they start to dry. Sauvage Elixir and Ambassador Intense, they're not the same fragrance. They're similar at the start, but they veer off after that. Oh, yeah, and I've never been single percentage body fat before. I will be, though. It was good. First opening segment was long, and when they started chanting, this is awkward, I was thinking the same thing. Like, this is kind of weird. Can I hold your belt? Sure, you can hold mine. That was, what? That was stupid. I will be. I'm already hangry now. Yes, my wife makes a phenomenal spaghetti with ground meat and sausage. Can't wait. Puts a little bit of sugar in it to kind of counter the acidity. I'm tear that shit up. Meat on that three days because she always cooks way more. It's just me and her, and she's going to cook enough for like 10 people. That's what she does. She always cooks a big spaghetti. I can't wait. That's the first thing she's cooking when we get back home because we're going to be in Louisiana. So, he's already hangry. Yeah, I am. Again, I go back to have you not been here for my rants the last several live streams. I'm hangry. You're damn right. And it's getting worse because the plan got more aggressive yesterday. So that's the one thing I will be able to have at a certain point in peak week because it's going to be kind of difficult to defecate because of the way I'll be deprived. I can have black coffee. Ugh. Ugh. A cup of black coffee. I'm going to have to like let that cool down and cannonball that shit. But yeah, that's a thing for peak week is black coffee. So Sunday, I'm going to finish some touch, finally finishing up the touch up here. We're coloring in the sun with that sunburst. Got to touch up the rest of the water because that's not exactly what the water is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be some more shading here and then whatever else other shading he wanted to do here. And then I'm adding some more branching to this over here. It's not complete. I want, I want it coming around the bicep more. Like I'm cool with everything else, the way it framed. That was intentional. Um, but I want it to come around. I want some of the spikes to come out a little bit more this way on the biceps. So just some touch-up stuff. But aside from adding more ink beyond some touch-up stuff on what's existing, no, not for the time being. Freshly grated Parmesan and garlic bread. No garlic bread for me. I'm cool without the garlic bread because there's just so much noodles on top of that. But uh, And I'm actually I'm not a big Parmesan guy for that. Believe it or not, I know most people are with spaghetti. I don't need it. I don't have to have it. Believe it or not. I'm cool without it. I don't need it. I'm not a big cheese guy in the first place, though. Uh, we've, we've covered everything on the topic. We're just chatting now. They were both sides before bed one night, and it was actually pretty good. Ravi, good to see you. Yes, so the Nigerian giant Omos is sending me a decant. He just got home from Mania. He That was his sin of the day post today was Blue Talisman. And uh, he's sending me a decant. He's putting it in the mail tomorrow. So I will have a decant within the next few days. Because he's in Orlando. He's just a few hours down the street from me. So I'll get it pretty soon. Kajal Ferris, great choice. See why he chose Pacific Chill at LV now. The Alexander version is amazing. I haven't tried their version, but I can tell you the real deal is amazing. Hello from India. How are you? Yes, sir. It'll be here sooner than later. So we just hit a little over an hour. We've got 108 people still hanging out. We didn't lose too many. Talking about the bodybuilding stuff, I knew we were going to lose some people. Anytime we veer off the topic of fragrance, we lose some viewers. And I get it. It's a fragrance channel. Not everybody wants to hear anything. Not everybody genuinely gives a shit about what's going on in my life. They just want to hear my opinion on fragrance. I get it. I'm not mad about it. I understand. I get it. Not everybody's here for all that. Like when we talk shoes, um, when we talk fitness, and when we talk, start talking wrestling pretty heavy, anytime that stuff happens, I notice the view, viewer count shifts. So I don't get offended. I understand. You're here for fragrance. It's all good. My feelings aren't hurt. I understand. But with that said, unless it's your first time in my live stream, you should know that we're going to talk about these things because that's the things that I'm into. Especially if somebody asked me, like, we got on the fitness topic because it got mentioned. That's my life right now. Bodybuilding has consumed my life. It's, 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 every waking minute, it's what I'm doing because of the nutrition behind it as well. My stomach's on fire right now from the vessel burn to help the blood flow in my midsection. Like, I'm doing what it takes at all times. You know, where was I? Hello from India. Zara Chrome Parfum. Great release. That and the EDP were great releases. I like all topics discussed. I appreciate that, Ryan. I care. 
long as you care, Jason, I'm good. Ask Omos any plans with him since the new era of WWE. We talk about these things. He's got something in the works specifically. We'll see if they do anything with it. Y'all make sure y'all keep an eye on his Instagram page is what I'll say. We'll launch out X is my sin of the day tomorrow. Which do you prefer, OG or X? I've never tried the X. I've heard it's just an even fresher, slightly more floral twist. I'm assuming you've sp sprayed it beforehand. What do you think? Is that accurate? Because I've never tried it. The core is here for everything, and I appreciate it. That's why we're right over 100, because that is the core. The core is right over 100. That's the people that are going to hang no matter what, and I appreciate that. I mean, if you want something superior that's kind of like it, I would say Triumphal Bacchus from Argos. It's far superior to me. You lose all that smokiness, darkness, and pungence. Increase the quality. Enhanced fruitiness. Much more rum. Argos Triumphal Bacchus. Can hold you over. There you go. <laughs> not really. That's not even one of my favorite coffee fragrances. It's okay. I appreciate that, Ryan. Thank Are you coming to my show? By the way, Ryan was asking about where it's at because Ryan's in Louisiana. Are you serious about coming? It's 50, like 50 bucks. I just want to give you the heads up. It's like 50 bucks to get into the show for general admission if you do actually want to come. Um, just look it up. It's uh, Louisiana Open Championships, NPC Louisiana Open Championships. Just Google search it, and it'll show you the venue and everything where it's at if you genuinely want to come. We take some pictures and hang out and everything because there's a little area to take pictures and shit. Because I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures that night, obviously. Video footage and pictures. It's a bodybuilding show. Um, but yeah, if you were serious, if not, no, all good. <laughs> you know, but I know you've asked me a few times. I threw out my recommendation. The Fragrance Channel. It's a Ross channel. Love the sidetracks. Keep the content real. I appreciate that, Diego. Thank you, man. Uh, I would think my little rants and tangents and different topics is what makes my channel so much more unique than most other fragrance channels because it's kind of kind of a lifestyle channel at the same time for me when we factor in my live stream conversation. Kind of. Yes. Yes, I am. Not as much as I once was. Um, I still plan on getting a Yachtmaster 40 two-tone Ever Rose Gold chocolate dial one day. I'm not in a big old rush. I'd rather get my Corvette first. Uh, but we have to, we're have we planning on getting a house in a very specific neighborhood. It's going to be very pricey in about two to three years. We've, we've moved that back a little bit because the house we want is going to be on the pricey side. New construction neighborhood. They got a couple miles of property they're still building on, so we don't have to rush. But I would say a solid two years out. I know I said that last year, but it makes more sense to wait a little bit longer. Uh, wait to see how the market's going to change. If uh, the United States can kind of go back to being somewhat normal again after November. Uh, and maybe we get in a process to not fuckery for a little while. Um, we'll see how everything goes. But that's thing, real estate market's kind of, hmm, Jason is a realtor. He gets it. He's still doing good, but not what it was. Real estate market, hmm, right now. So we're not in a rush that's so why I'm thinking about two to three years. Hopefully, there's the shift that home buyers are looking for. So that's most important than the Corvette, then the Rolex, which that's going to be that's a several year process. What I just laid out, house, car, watch, several year process. That's not one after the other. Noted. Hugs in the chat for Ross. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jason. Signature rose, great choice. Great, great choice. Good to see you stream for the first time in forever. Take care, everybody. Nick, it was good to see you. I know I haven't seen your name pop up in a while. Monsoir de Givenchy. Late night alone. Good to see you. I was at Ross Saturday and saw Spider-Man EDT and almost got it for shits and giggles. I mean, go ahead with your bad self. Um, not in a long time. I used to live south of Houston in Sugarland for almost four years. About four years. Before I moved to Colorado for a short time. Little, less than three years I was in Colorado, and then we moved here. We're staying here. We're not moving again. We like it here a lot. We're staying here. Oh, yeah, definitely coming. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you then. Mm. I haven't heard anything. 
They don't sell Dior on Parfum here either. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. No, I don't think he sent me that one. I don't think I've smelled it with him before. Love you know to take on it before I buy it. If not, ask him the next decant swipe. So we're actually not doing decants the next round. We're going to do some random topics. So I don't know when we're doing decants again, but I, I need to remember. remind me next time I'm with Justin, which is going to be at the end of the month. If you can remember, remind me, Joel, because I'm going to forget. I'm down for a weekend trip in Louisiana. Let's ride. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. It is more floral. Okay, yeah, I'd say that's a good way to describe it. A tiny bit sweet. Noted. I, so that's what I've heard about. It seems to be pretty accurate then. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Another Roy said, speaking of coffee fragrances, ever try Follow by Kerosene? Strong as fuck, sweet coffee. No, sir, I have not. I have not. Baton Rouge is not far from me. Hour 40, yeah, it's not too bad. That's about how far it is from Homa, from where I'm from. Person, I think Wulong Cha OG smells better, but X works better as far as a fragrance to me. Noted. Edgar, good to see you, sir. I hope you're doing well. Green Irish tweed for Edgar. Just arrived in the house. Thank you for bringing me home with a frag chat and catching up with what's going on in your life. Be well, bro. I'm about to head in and eat. I got lasagna waiting on me. Yeah, rub it in, Sean. Rub it in. I'm glad you made it home safe. Thanks for coming to hang out with us for a little bit. Enjoy your lasagna. Think of me when you're eating it because uh, I can't have anything like that. I would love to. I'm not a lasagna guy, but boy, I'd eat the shit out of some lasagna right now. I'd love to sit at the table with you and have a plate. <laughs> Have a good one, my man. Yeah. Q just blessed. Save me a plate. So hour 17. Let's go to an hour and a half, 13 more minutes. What do you guys say? Hang out a little bit longer. Whew, man, I'm just fatigued. <clears throat> All that liveliness I had at the beginning of the chat is gone. I think the caffeine's kind of wore out. The quick hits over, the crash is happening because I just... I'm on low fuel right now. I need to go eat my meal that's not going to perk me up in a little bit. My lean turkey and spinach. Which I've been eating those meals for a while, but I had more fats and more carbs before she changed some stuff in the plan again. We're getting more aggressive. Which is time to. It's time to get more aggressive. I need to get leaner. You know, I need to continue to get leaner. You hit plateaus and peaks and stuff like that. Which from check-in to check-in, I lost another pound and a half five days apart. So, I mean, I'm still steadily losing where was i hell yeah just had some chipotle after the workout hit the spot so i had to cut that out because i was substituting i got fussed because i'm honest with my coach and i told her what i've been doing substitute stuff and she's like no no 100 percent on plan stop said you're gonna get off stage and said you could have did more and be mad at yourself you're right so and then on top of that she made the plan even more aggressive so i was like oh shit so no Chipotle until my high day. I'm going to have Chipotle Saturday on my high carb day, but it's only going to be, I typically get those once every 10 days. This time it's been a 15 day stretch from high carb day to the one I'm going to get Saturday. So, so few and far between when I get to eat rice and stuff like that. So, cause I eat no rice. There's no rice in my meal plan whatsoever right now. <clears throat> so, my oats and blueberries are amazing in the morning. Though my breakfast, I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. The breakfast in my meal plan, I love. I love. I'm going to eat that every day for the rest of my life. I can. I love that meal. Now I want lasagna. No, no. I, I actually have my pre-workout during. So what I drink during my workout is um, like I need to have six grams of L-citrulline. No matter what, because that really opens the your uh opens your your veins up to really get a lot of blood flow. So as long as I have that much, it doesn't matter which pro pre workout. That I have a scoop of L glutamine, a scoop of creatine, and I have some essential amino acids on top of that. That big concoction. So I'll shake that up in a shaker, drink a little bit of it, then top it off with some more water and shake it again because it's such a high concentration of powders. Um, so, yeah, I can have that. There's going to come a time when I don't have that anymore. I'm going to cut the creatine. I'm going to cut the uh, the pre-workout. That's going to come as we get really close. But, yeah, that's part of it. <clears throat> you got got. What you talking about? I got got. My siestas and the further you go into your cut. Probably. <clears throat> 
a try. What can I say? I enjoyed the newest City Rhythm fragrance. We also ordered a couple sample packs from the site. Niles is doing great work. Very glad I dove into the house. The great fragrances at the moment. Yeah, he is. He really stepped it up with this one. He really stepped up. So I don't know how many of you saw his comment in the video. He's like, your nose continues to impress me. He's like, that sparkling wine accord, the perfumer had to use a champagne accord to get the brightness we were looking for. Because I mentioned, it kind of smells more like champagne to me than sparkling wine. Turns out there's a champagne accord in here to help give the brightness, that sparkly feel to the sparkling wine accord that they used. Very unique fragrance. Chocolate covered cherries with wine and champagne it's, it's weird little dirty rose but it's good it's very good very situational fragrance so it's not something i would wear every day i'm more of a daily wear fragrance kind of guy i can appreciate and respect the creation i'm just not gonna wear it often it doesn't suit my daily life it's good stuff though anybody wants to hear more i put a video out this morning please go watch it it doesn't have shit for views <laughs> please go watch it <clears throat> Yes. Yep. That's part of it, though. But you got to embrace the hunger because you're burning fat. I'm flat. It's hell to get a pump some most days. Um, very flat. I can't wait to see what I'm going to look like carved up and lean. It's going to be amazing. It's going to make it all worth it. Get some cool pictures. But I want some hardware, too. The metals are really cool for the show. Let me show you guys real quick. The metals are great. No, that's not what I wanted. I believe it's under screenshots. I'm pretty sure I screenshot them. I did not. <coughs> Excuse me. My apologies. I know it's on... Uh, I can just go to NPC Louisiana's IG. It shouldn't be too far down. There we go. That's what the metals look like. I want to collect as many of those as possible. That's my plan. Yep. Cool looking metals. I'm a true novice A because of my weight and height. True novice A because of my first show. Open A because of my weight and height. Masters over 35, because it used to only be Masters over 40 when my dad was bodybuilding. Now Masters over 35, so apparently I'm an old man. Um, and Novice A, Open A, True Novice A, and Masters over 35. So four, cl four classes in the Classic Physique Division. <laughs> Have a good one, Aaron. We've been shutting it down in about seven minutes. So my breakfast, because I combine my pre-workout meal with my breakfast, so I turn two meals into one because it's just hell to eat two meals before I go train in the morning. So what it's supposed to be is 85 grams of the 96.4 lean beef, 100 grams of egg whites, liquid measure egg whites, 75 grams of uh, spinach, 30 grams of oats, 50 grams of blueberries. My pre-workout meal that's supposed to be like an hour and a half later and then wait an hour to go to the gym. Like, it's too much time to stretch. Like, I'd have to do these live streams at like 6 or 7 o'clock. If I was to do these meals the way, this way, would be 170 grams of the 99% lean turkey with 100 grams of jasmine rice and 5 grams of coconut oil. So instead of having that meal, I make the breakfast bigger because I go to the gym like an hour after breakfast. So I do 100 grams instead of 85 grams of the lean beef. I do... 50 grams of oats instead of 30. I do 60 grams of blueberries instead of 50. I do the same amount of spinach. I add the whole egg in with the egg whites instead of the coconut oil. There's my fats. So I don't get the same protein intake and the same carb intake, but it's a nice sizable pre-workout meal total. So I'm actually a little bit more of a deficit than my workout plan because I can kind of compensate two meals into one because it's just I used to try to do the two meals before and it was just too much I'd be too full to go to the gym and it's just not anybody that's ever trained hard and tense with a full stomach it sucks it's shit it's terrible I don't want to do that so I just have a bigger breakfast instead of having the two meals and then I stick to playing the rest of the day that's what it is but I love my breakfast 
So it's mainly about calories. At the, the most simplistic way to look at it is calories in, calories out. Eat less calories, you lose weight. Less calories than your body needs. When you exercise, you lose weight. It's just what it is. Carbs play a big role. You don't want to deal with inflammation. You want to avoid dairy, especially with lactose intolerance like I got. You want to avoid dairy. <clears throat> Be fun to have a live with your coach after the show and hear about the whole process. Uh, I doubt Lacey would do that. I can't imagine because uh, her advice costs money, by the way. So I doubt she would want to do a live stream giving the advice people she charges people for for free on a live stream. So I don't blame her. <laughs> you know, so I highly doubt that would happen. I understand what you mean. I, I appreciate what you're asking, but I, I'm not even going to ask her that because. I give her a few hundred dollars a month. She's got, I think, 60 clients, something like that. Team Lacey Strong is vast, like 60 clients. There's three posing coaches. There's a few nutritionists on the team as well. We're a team. I'm part of the team for this. Like, I'm with a winner. Um, I highly doubt she would want to do that. That's what I'm saying. I'm not even going to bother asking her. I appreciate the sentiment. It just did. I think it happened. I've done it before. Agreed. 2654 is still my all-time favorite from City Rhythm. Need to try the new one. Seems like a good date fragrance. That's probably what I think it's best suited for. Yep. It's all about calories in, calories out. It's the easiest way to look at it. That's a great question, Jonathan. Jonathan's really into the gym, by the way. A lot of power lifting and stuff. Jonathan's gotten in great shape. Um Thing that surprised me the most. That's a great question. I would say how much easier it is than I thought it would be to try to stay on plan for the most part. Um, I mean, all the things that come with it about the irritability and being hungry and everything, that's to be expected. But some days are harder than others, but it's not as crazy hard, at least to this point to eat the way I've been eating. It's like I said, I've had some stretches where it's like, man, fuck this. I hate this, <laughs> you know, but for the most part, it's not too bad. Now, probably the biggest surprise is the ability to have an even more intense workout than when I was eating in a surplus. My workouts are so much more intense. I sweat so much more training now in a deficit preparing for the contest than I did when I was throwing four plates on each side around, like it was nothing on incline press machine and six plates on each side on the flat plate loaded press machine where I couldn't do that if I, somebody paid me right now, but I was slinging weight around easily before. And my workouts are so much more intense now being so much more focused on tension because I'm weaker but my joints are paying the price at the same time. My joints are taking a beating like I'm throwing around a ton of weight. So that's, I think the biggest surprise is the level of intensity I'm able to train with, with being in such a heavy deficit. I think that's the right answer for this one is the level of intensity. The workouts have still been great for me. Even the days when it's hard as shit to get myself in the gym, I go, no matter what I'm, I'm going to be at the gym, I'm going to train. I always have a great workout. There's never a time where I walk out of that gym and I'm like, I could have did more. I should have did more. Mm -mm. I'm fucking exhausted and ready to get nutrition when I walk out of that place. I am dragging ass. I get on the phone with my wife just so I stay awake on the ride because I'm so depleted of energy. I'm not joking. On the way home from the gym every day, I call my wife, stay on the phone with her on the speaker system, and I tell her, tell me some stuff. Just I barely talk because it's to keep me engaged and keep me up because I'm so depleted from energy. That's how intense the workouts have been. And it wasn't like that when I was in a surplus. I would train hard, but not as hard as I train now. It's weird. And I had so much more. You would think I had so much more to give before, but I find more to give now. It's the mindset, I think, is what it comes down to. It's a bodybuilding's a mental game. That's more proof. I appreciate that. It'll be on Friday. I'm going to film that tomorrow. It'll be on Friday. We just hit an hour and a half. Let me let me try to get to the bottom. No worries. I appreciate it, man. 
Yeah, you're going to need the fats. The fats are more important than the carbs. That's why people get away with those carnivore diets. The fats are more important. Right? No, it's cash at the door. Yeah, you can't pay online. It's cash at the door. Like when I went to uh, Southern Muscle in Thanksgiving, it was cash, cash only at the door. That's how these National Physique events are. Main show starts at 5. I doubt you're going to want to come to the pre-judging, but main show's at 5. So that, that would be the time to go. That's the actual show part of it. Pre-judging is going to be boring for an audience. That's more like close friends and family, wives and the coaches and everything to be there for the pre-judging. That's where the, the main part is. But the show portion, the pageantry of it, is the, in the evening. That's when I would suggest coming. Mind Games Gambit. Good to see you, Sally. Uh, Cosmic Pepper is kind of like a more peppery Alurum Sports. Very good. I can't do the Nutella, but I'll tell you what. Oats and blueberries is amazing. I literally save it for last in the morning. It's like my dessert. It's my little treat. It's the most exciting thing I eat every day is oats and blueberries. It's amazing. And, and look, I never was interested in oats my whole life. And when it was put into my plan from the start, I was like, Ugh, oats? And the first time I ate them, I was like, ooh, hoo with the blueberries, I was like, okay, this is great. Now I want to eat that every day for the rest of my life. I love them. That's what I'm saying. I can't uh, I can't just be full to train. It's just too much. Having food in my stomach is one thing, but being full, that's mm, pass. Totally agree. Totally agree. Kajira, my man, speaking to people that like to hit the gym. Rocking Latafa Hayati Al Malik Maliki. It's so good, man. Good to see you. I'll be there early. 10 4, 10 4, my man. Downtown Deja Vu, great choice. 90s in a bottle. My bottle is right there. Just call me Tommy since I'm tall as fuck. Peanut butter and oatmeal. Now, not oatmeal. I'm not doing like it's just plain one minute oats. And it's funny that it's one minute oats, but it takes 90 seconds. <laughs> add water, put it in the microwaves for 90 seconds, not a minute, but that's what I eat. The plain ones. Like I've never tried any of the flavored ones or anything like that, but that with blueberries is amazing. And then the eggs on the ground beef and I'm cool with the spinach. I'm used to it. I eat spinach in every freaking meal. Now I'm used to it. <laughs> you can run my Frito-Lay route early in the morning and be ready to go. Cream of rice is good too. I like oatmeal and cream of rice. They are both great. Well, guys, we actually made it to the bottom. We're a little over an hour and a half. I appreciate you guys coming and hang out with me. Thank you to everybody that gave Super Chats, the member renewals. I sure appreciate that. Speaking of members, the the votes, the voting's out there for you guys. Um, Jasada Ambassador Intense is winning in the designer vote right now. Let's, let's see. Let's see what's winning what. I know Ambassador Intense was winning for the designer tier, for the all-star tier. Let's see. All right, so here's the current voting. Here's what's currently winning. So Birth of Venus is winning for the Hall of Fame tier. We got 16 votes so far. And Ambassador Intense is still winning for the All-Star tier uh, with 24 votes currently. So there's plenty of people still that haven't voted. So there you go, guys. Cosmic Pepper is a choice. So we got a Mancera Montal, Aqua de Palma stepped up a little bit because we got a few more members. So the value of everything's gone up. We do a pretty good designer for a second spin now instead of a cheapie. Like we did um, Aqua de Joe Profondo for this past month. So you're actually getting two pretty good designer fragrances for the all star tier now. So we got 60 something people eligible in that tier. Um, and then in this tier, we're over 30 people. So we've stepped that up quite a bit. So we've got a Creed here. Um, Sirs Lieutenant, 5 o'clock, nobody cared. I said, let me throw that in there just to see. Nobody cared. It's all good, but some good stuff for this time of year. I've never tried the Electimus fragrance, but I've heard good things. But Silver Mountain Water, Birth of Venus, and EGE, oh, man, good for the warm weather. I try to stay seasonal with these, but, yeah, for any of you members, go vote if you're eligible. So where was I? More, more happened. There we go, Kevin. Thanks for the streams. And you can thank Nate Dog and Warren G for fragulators. Late yet, later, y'all. Well, I appreciate you, Kevin. Have a good one, my man. 
Might be because you feel the muscle connection contraction better when you're leaner doing a cut compared to when you're on a bulk and bulkier. I think it's more the mindset of making it count more is what I've come up with because you're just so much more focused because I'm spending a lot of money to do this. I mean, just the pro card, I'm not pro card, just the NPC registration card and registering for one show was 750 bucks because each class, each class was 150 bucks and the card was 150 bucks. I spent 750 just doing that. And I'm doing another show that's going to be three classes because I can't do true novice again. It's not going to be my first show. So it's going to be 450 bucks. So all in all, that's $1,200 to do the two shows just to sign up. Just to sign up. It's now the hotel is a few hundred bucks for each of the shows, the travel. Plus, I've spent a few hundred bucks a month on my coach. Uh, very specific supplementation I, I'm having to re-up on all the time. Um, just, yeah. It's, it's not cheap to bodybuild. Now, if I was bulking, it'd be more expensive because I'd be buying so much more food. I'm buying specific food. I'm just not eating a ton of food, luckily, so it's not crazy expensive for food. But if I was bulking, food would be that much more expensive. So, 2,200 calories my cut, and I'm drained. Man, I'm lower than that. <laughs> I'm way lower than that. I don't even know what it is, but I know it's way lower than that. I've been lower than that for a while. I'm also much smaller than you. This guy's a giant son of a bitch. <laughs> Year's big man. Uh, he's got to Google it. I don't know. NPC Louisiana Open Championships. Got to Google it. Keep it simple. Blue de Chanel. Hell, hell of a good choice. See on the next one. Yeah, let me get to the bottom. Can't find the post for voting. So you got to switch to your account that's eligible because it you're not going to be able to see it from a profile that's not because one of your one of your accounts is at the 499 level the other one's at the all-star tier only one of your accounts i think the selly tyree accounts the one not this one this one's the 499 account if i remember correctly you're not going to see it from this account so you got to switch hell yeah man hell yeah i hope you enjoy it I mean, I'm going to say yes, but I mean, I would encourage you to try it first. It's very synthetic, but it's a beautiful tropical fragrance. I'm a huge fan of it. I love coconut fragrances. I did a coconut fragrance video last year, and I'm going to revamp it this summer as well. I see just won his show, 10-4. Crazy Ups is a former pro natural bodybuilder. If you can keep pumping out these videos and live streams, when you get contest lean, I'll have to tip my hat to you. Those last few weeks, sub 5 6% are tough. It's going to be rough. You guys are going to see, like, I'm already going on more rants because I'm so much more irritable. But, yeah, man, when it, when we get into this last four weeks, bear with me, people. <laughs> Cut me some slack. I'm going to be a dick. I'm just calling it what it is. I'm going to be more of a dick than I already am, probably. Um, I'm already kind of being. But those last couple of weeks, it's going to be brutal. I need your love and support during those times. So, but we're still going to be doing our content. We'll still be here. We'll still be cutting up. We'll still be talking fragrances. And obviously we're going to be talking bodybuilding because it is what I'm living. But I appreciate the sentiment because, yeah, I'm, it's it's coming. It's coming. What's going on, Dilly? So I'm about to shut it down. It's 10,000 miles away. Yeah, you're definitely not going to be able to make it. Bonnie for church. No worries. We'll give you all the slack. Thank you, Roy. Because that's why I'm apologizing now. And I'll apologize every time I notice what I'm doing. I promise. I'll try to be conscious of everything. But the irritability continues to grow as I continue to be more and more hungry and more and more drained. It's not an excuse. It's just reality. There's no excuse for it. I try to be better. I promise. I try to be better. Um, and on that note, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. Thank you all for coming and hang with me. Please check out today's videos if you haven't yet. They're doing terribly. I could use the views. I sure appreciate that. Um, the revenue goes back into the channel with all these fragrances I buy, which tomorrow Invictus Parfum comes in. So that's going to be great. Still waiting on Boss Bottled Triumph Elixir to come in. And do I have any others that I bought and I'm waiting on? I think that's it right now is those two. But I mean, we're always buying something. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. No live stream tomorrow. Uh, not sure what tomorrow's video is going to be. Probably a topic. Probably going to be do, doing a topic. I haven't figured out what. I got a few ideas of topics I'd like to do, things I've been kind of marinating on. Then Thursday, I have a collaboration video with Fragrance Buy. Then Friday is the ranking all 40 Manceras in my collection. So be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for another live stream. Have a great rest of your day. Have a good one.